East Lansing police officers involved in a shooting at a local Meyer were justified to use deadly force. That's what Attorney General Dana Nessel said in Detroit today. Daryl and Horn was there. She's here for you now with more on the findings and why the AG says the officers handled this situation well. Daryl. Lauren, the Attorney General was confident in this decision not to charge EOPD officers James Menzer and Jose Vieira after they shot a 21-year-old man back in April. Nessel says her department's Public Integrity Unit reviewed 21-year-old DeAnthony Van Atten's conduct on social media, along with witness statements and interviews with police before making that decision. She says Van Atten entered the mire with a loaded gun that was exposed, and Nessel says Van Atten refused to comply with police and even reached for his gun. Officers shot eight times, hitting him twice, and later found out that the loaded gun was reported stolen. Now, when asked if the officer should have responded by firing off multiple shots in the parking lot, Nessel says they were justified as they had to protect themselves and the lives of others. Mr. Van Atten possessed this firearm that we later you know, understood to be uh, a loaded weapon with a round in the chamber. Uh, and he was, you know, running through the parking lot with that firearm in his hand. I think that more will become available likely during the course of the court proceedings so that uh, the public will then have an opportunity likely to see the specifics uh, of all of those videos. But in terms of our department's review, we have no doubt that Mr. Van Atten posed a danger to both the police officers and the public at large. Now Van Atten remains in the Ingham County Jail after being arrested last week, and he faces eight felony charges, including resisting and obstructing an officer and concealing a firearm. And as for the officers, East Lansing Police sent us a statement saying an investigation of the shooting is ongoing, and the two officers will be returning to work, but will only be assigned non-patrol duties for now. We haven't heard back from Van Atten's family yet, but when we spoke to them back in April, they believed officers did use excessive force because Van Atten was black. Back to you, Lauren. All right, thank you, Daryl.